Hey, it's Rick Barker, host of the Music Industry Blueprint Podcast, former manager of superstar Taylor Swift. And many of you have been reaching out and telling me that you watched that video I did talking about how to be able to support uh, your favorite musician right now. If you missed that video, we'll make sure that there's a link to it available for you to find. If you're on my Instagram, it's in Linktree. Uh, we'll make sure that you're able to see that. But I'm wearing a Trent Harmon hat here and a Manifest sweatshirt, so I'm doing my part to contribute to the industry. So a lot of times people will ask me the different ways that they should utilize social media and how to reach out to people. They consider me the social media guy. And every situation is different. So what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna break down for you as an artist the best way to utilize social. If you're just a songwriter and you wanna use social, and let's say you're a producer and you wanna know how the best way is that you can utilize social media for yourself. So the key with social media, and a lot of people have been watching The Social Dilemma, it's been all over Netflix and it's all this mind game stuff and, it's pretty funny if you haven't had a chance to watch it on how some of these platforms try to manipulate what it is that you see next and things like that. That's not how I recommend utilizing social media. I love to use social media as a relationship builder, as a way to get whatever it is that you do in front of the right person. So if you're an artist, you obviously are going to want to reach out to music fans to be able to get your music in front of the potential person that's gonna support your career. So one of the things that I share with artists, and I'll make sure, I do a whole presentation on this, I'll make sure that you get access to that, but one of the things that I tell the artists that I work with is I said, first, let's identify the right audience. Not just a audience, but the right audience. So the right audience is the person, let's say if you're in country music, the person who likes country music of artists similar to you. So the first thing that I tell them to do is I said, if you had the chance to open for any artist that's popular, because ultimately we're gonna wanna run ads to get to those people, and that's a whole nother video in itself, but well, let's find the artist that you feel is popular that already has your audience. Go follow them on their social media platforms. I'm gonna recommend right now, let's just start with Instagram. So you go follow them on Instagram, and you start watching what they're posting. But what I want you to watch out for next is who is commenting. Who is involved in the conversation? The best conversation to get into are the ones that are already happening. How often have we tried to start conversations on social media and nobody is talking back to us? It's kind of awkward, right? You ask a question and nothing happens. Well, why don't we go get involved in conversations that are already happening? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna reach out to that person and you're just going to follow them. Don't show up and drop a link to your YouTube video. Don't ask them to listen to your music on Spotify. We're going to get to that, but the first thing that you wanna do is make sure that you follow them. Once you follow them, then I want you to reach out at another time, especially if they follow you back, and say, hey, I notice you're a fan, and just, you know, I'll just use Luke Combs as an example. I notice you're a fan of Luke Combs. I'm a big fan of Luke Combs as well. Matter of fact, a lot of people think our music would, you know, is very comparable to Luke Combs. Are you ever interested in hearing music from new artists? And that's where you end that conversation. When they respond back, yes, that's when you say, do you mind if I share with you some of my music? No, I would love to hear some of your music. Now that's your permission to go ahead and send them something. Does it take a couple steps? Yes. Does it freak them out? No. Matter of fact, it's there now inviting you to send them music. So that's how I suggest you start with trying to find your audience, start building relationships with strangers if you are an artist. Now, if you're a songwriter, you're like, okay, Rick, I don't feel like posting all this kind of stuff on socials. I would post your lyrics. I, if you're a good enough singer, I would post opportunities for them to see you sing your songs, but I would be following independent artists that might be in need of your songs. Now, most of you want to get it to the biggest, most popular artists in the world. They already have access to the best songwriters in the world and the best producers. They're not quite looking for you yet, okay? I say yet because you can create that opportunity. So what I would do is let's say that you write music in the style of Maroon 5. I'll just use Maroon 5 as an example. 
you would go to YouTube and you would type in Maroon 5 covers and you're gonna get thousands of artists who are very good doing Maroon 5 covers. And now you're going to become a detective. You're going to reach out and you're gonna start listening to some of their original music. And in many cases, you're gonna find out that their original music isn't that good. That's the ideal person for you to reach out to now. So what I want you to do is go leave a positive comment on one of their YouTube videos. Don't mention that you're a songwriter yet. Don't ask them to listen to your songs yet. Just go leave a positive comment. Artists are now trained to go look for the nice things people say about them. Why? Because that's what artists like to do. They like to see when people are saying pretty happy things about them. So when they see that you show up, they may click on your profile and go, oh wow, that guy's a songwriter. And if you've set your social media up properly, like the way that I teach, they're gonna be able to hear some of your songs. They're gonna be able to know how to get a hold of you and get in contact with you. Then I want you to go follow them on their Instagram. I use Instagram a lot. The reason for that is it's the easiest way to get a hold of people and most people are on their Instagram accounts. I want you to go into their, where you follow them, go hit message, and I want you, if you feel comfortable, to send a video message. If you don't feel comfortable, send an audio message, but I don't want you to type it. And I want you to say, hey, been following your stuff on YouTube. I think you're super talented. Are you ever looking for original material and original songs? Then you don't say anything. You're done then. When they respond back to you, it's either gonna be no, which usually isn't the case, or it's gonna be, oh my gosh, I'm always looking for original songs. And then you reach back and say, would you mind if I shared with you a playlist with some of my original material, I think you would do fantastic with it. As soon as they reach back and they say yes, guess what? You're now in a different conversation and relationship with those people. So that's how I would do it as a songwriter. As a bonus tip, I would create a private SoundCloud page so that you can have a playlist. Most people don't want you emailing big, huge you know, WAV files or MP3 files. In the industry, a lot of uh, corporations won't accept anything with an attachment on it because it can contain a virus, but you can have a private playlist and you can just put your songs in there. They can go to it, listen to the songs. That's a great way for you to be able to share your music. So that's just a bonus tip for you. So you're a producer. What are you gonna utilize social media for? You're gonna do it almost the exact same way as the songwriter. This is a chance for you to share what it is that you do. You can create, you can upload you know, a lot of people right now with beat stars and things like that, there's a lot of beat makers out there. Matter of fact, Little Nas X discovered his beat on beat stars. He purchased it from them and well, the rest is kind of Grammy history at that point. You want to get your music out into the world to let people know the style of music that you do, but don't sit around and wait for them to find you. You'll go into YouTube and you'll start typing in artists that you feel your tracks would be solid for, write in covers, and you're also going to find artists that might be looking for your music, for your original material. Also too, is if you're an artist or a producer, excuse me, that's developing artists right now, you wanna know these skills so that you can make sure that the artists that you're working with know how to get your creations out into the world effectively. So everything's universal that it is that I teach. It really doesn't matter what background you're in. If you're a creative and you need to get your product out into the world, that's kind of what it is that I teach. I'm not teaching people how to be famous because we can't control that, but I am teaching you how to have conversations with people that don't make it sound like you're trying to sell yourself and don't make it sound like you're just constantly just dropping your stuff on them, that it's a two-way conversation. So producers, I would utilize it almost the same way as a songwriter. You're finding artists that you feel can would fit well with what it is that you've produced or you're helping the artist that you currently have. Now, I have a great presentation that I would love to be able to uh, share with you. Just go down right below this video, wherever it is that you're watching this video, there's a link somewhere sending you to that presentation. I mix it up all the time. So I'll give you the most current and up-to-date strategies that I'm using with the thousands of artists that I'm working with all over the world to help them get their music out into the world. All right, it's been a pleasure serving you. If you like this video, please you know, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment. We're always checking back on the comments. We're like the artists. We like pretty positive things that are said about us too. So make sure you say something nice and there's a good chance we'll come back to you. But anything I can do to serve you, uh, I've got tons of videos. I've got over 200 podcasts. 
There's a whole bunch of great information that's out there to help you and go out there and use your music to change the world. All right, promise me that. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.